and welcome to the tarot card meeting of the tower. Um, this has been a card uh, that has kind of been with me for a little while. Now as it is a, it's the 16th card of the Major Arcana. The Major Arcana goes from the Fool and goes all the way to the end of the 21st card which is the World. And um, the tower brings a lot of upheaval, disaster, <laughs> chaos. There, it's breaking down walls. It's it's um, big card of kind of destructing or deconstructing your life and emotions and how do you say it? Um, it's one of those cards where it kind of blindsides you. Um, in the traditional Rider weight deck, there's people that are jumping from the building head first, lightning strikes, there's lots of uh, disastrous kind of things going on and the buildings blowing up. In this deck, in the Mystic Dreamer Tarot, it's a little calmer, but there is fire and lightning and lightning strikes and what this kind of means is is that it's striking you to change there is something that you know deep down inside and this is to do with your environment um, how you feel how you portray yourself out to others as well so when you go through the tower card. This can be in uh, relationships, this can be a divorce, a breakup, a romantic relationship, a divorce, breakup, or you could be breaking down walls of communication so that you can be talking together. Um, the tower card can be a constructive card as well as a destructive card. So there is two ends to this. When it's always about change though. Things that when you first go through the, ta the tower card, when you get out of it, it's not going to be the same. And then I'm going to talk about the next card, which is the star. And the star brings a beautiful transformation and emotional healing after something such as devastating as like a divorce, right? Uh, on the business front, that means business deals will uh, fall through it w and you know what generally speaking when those things fall through it wasn't meant to be anyway so it's actually a blessing in disguise the tower card can be a very very positive card and I actually quite like it because of the fact that it removes and strips all of those fears and it kind of brings it right up to the forefront and then you have to deal with them in order to release it, in order to get to the next level, which is the star, which is full of transformation. Um, so I was just saying love, it means maybe perhaps, you know, divorce, uh, breaking up, an argument, or breaking down the walls of communication so that you can have better communication flowing. In business, if this card comes up in a reading, if... Um, you're doing like a business dealing, I would avoid the um, business dealing because it's going to fall through eventually. Or, you know, should you avoid it? That's up to you. Or you can go through it and see how it breaks down the walls. But you could lose a business potentially if this is the card that's coming up for your business, right? Or it could mean you need to take a look at the core values and foundation of where your business is, right? In the grand scheme of this, um, for just life and personal growth, this is a big personal growth time. This is when you're delving into your own self and you're really, really looking at who you are as a person, what you put out there, um, and how you want to live, and how your actions um, in your own life are either hampering you or propelling you forward. Um, in reverse this card, I go, uh, I can read the card mainly as a whole, but when it comes up in reverse, it means that you're 
fearing change that you uh, don't want to go through the unpeeling of the layers of the onion to get to your core values. You, you're you not accepting what's going on in your life as in if there is a breakup. So what kind of things are breaking down right now in your life if this card comes up? What is shaken and doesn't have that strong foundation anymore? And that could be related to, again, business, marriage, friendships. Um, and also, it represents kind of economic collapse. So, as this tarot card, if you're looking into, like, the world, and right now I'm filming this in uh, September, early September in 2015, and I'm kind of feeling like there is uh, a little bit of a economic kind of crash that has been kind of happening a little bit. I don't really follow economics that much, but China's um, stock exchange went down. There, was, The Greece thing is going on right now. Um, uh, Canada is officially in a recession. So, you know, all of these things are the economic factors for the world as well. And we've got to take a look at our banking systems, systems, priorities, and how things come about when the tower card comes up. This is a deep and profound card that lasts for an extended period in our lives. Like if you've ever been through a divorce or a breakup where you've got to move and uh, divvy up all of the... Uh, uh, your equity and everything that takes a while unfortunately this card sticks with you <laughs> as you transform and you and you um, do all of those things but in the end it's a blessing in disguise and you'll be a much stronger and more secure and more confident and loving person in the end built on a strong foundation for the future so really, in the grand scheme of things, it is a very beautiful card. I hope you enjoyed my um, meaning of that. Oh, one thing I did want to go into is that this is the this card is related to Mars, which is the planet of action, taking steps, <laughs> getting motivated, passion, finding the passion for life. So if you've been finding that you haven't been passionate about what you're doing for work or your career or in your love life or whatever, this card asks you to get out there and take action to make things passionate for you, to take those steps, to keep moving towards something, to break down those walls, to communicate, to do all of those things and have that fiery passion within you to take those steps and really be courageous and bear your soul the way you're supposed to as your authentic self. So, and the other thing with uh, Mars, that planet rules the star signs Aries and Scorpio. And Aries is childlike. They're the first in the zodiac. And they want to be childlike and they want to be first all the time. And they want to have fun and they want to have passion and they want to, they're really childlike and um, they really care about their appearances. And Scorpio is a very, very uh, loving and emotional uh, planet. But the in the olden times, uh, Mars was the god of war. So, sorry, my dog's running around. Um, the god of war. So, it, again, war, you're at war with yourself. But then at the end of it, there is peace. I don't know. That part I'm not so sure about. But, you know... The thing is, is that Mars asks you to take action. So when this stuff is happening, and you can equate it to kind of this. If you know that your life is kind of sucking right now, and the biggest motivator for most people is if things suck so bad it has to change. Because if it's going okay, you'll just let it go and you'll stay in that comfort zone. If it sucks so bad, you'll change it. Welcome to the tower card. <laughs> Anyways, but in the grand scheme of things, again, it gets better and more blissful and happier. And that's when the star comes in and life gets easy and manifestation comes and emotional healing and all of those beautiful things. 
I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching my tarot card meeting.